It's one of the nation's most successful TV networks which has battled its fair share of controversies. And Lisa Wilkinson's shock departure from today is only the latest in a long string of scandals involving female Channel 9 journalists, some of whom were lectured about their affability or joked about getting boned by senior male staff. In light of the network's latest episode, Daily Mail Australia looks at other female staff who have had less than stellar experiences at nine. Jessica joined Channel 9 in 2006, lasting just a year as co-host of Today alongside Carl Stepanovic. During her short tenure at The Reporter, was met with a barrage of criticism from the public and within the network. In a sworn affidavit, Nine's former head of news Mark Llewellyn claimed then-Channel 9 chief executive Eddie McGuire had joked about boning Jessica in a meeting with other executives, the Sydney Morning Herald reported. A mental health advocate and popular host of Studio 10, in 2016 Jessica revealed she still feels so terribly upset by Eddie's comments. That year was a terrible time in my life, and it was not helped by public abuse, abuse from within the network that I worked at and abuse from someone who was in charge of that particular network," she told Studio 10's audience. It was horrific, and it preempted then a very dark period in my life. A whole lot of factors contributed to be a perfect storm during that, and it just makes me terribly sad. Mia Friedman was brought on as Creative Services Director in 2006, lasting just 12 months before quitting the network. News Corporation reported at the time that Mia, who had been brought on to provide more female content at nine, found the environment toxic, with almost immediate resistance to her suggestions about softening the blokey culture. In a 2015 interview with Showtel, Mia described her time at nine as the worst professional experience of my life. She had struggled to settle into the network due to her role not being clearly defined, with her only instructions to make nine more appealing to women. In 2008 former Los Angeles correspondent Christine Spiteri was awarded a six-figure settled after bringing a sex discrimination case against Channel 9. The reporter alleged various attempts had been made to move her from the role before she was sacked in 2007. Among evidence Christine presented in court was being lectured about her sex appeal, Fairfax Media reported at the time. She alleged Nine's news director John Westacott told her and other female reporters to make it in this industry, you gotta have affability. To make it in this game, women have to be affable. One of Channel 9's most successful reporters Jana went fronted everything from a current affair to 60 Minutes. But in an episode which has echoes of Lisa Wilkinson's departure a decade later, Jana abruptly left the network in 2006. Reports at the time 
said the veteran journalist had been in discussions for a new role before talks broke down, the Sydney Morning Herald claimed. She was allegedly paid out by the network, who were believed to be giving her a yearly contract worth hundreds of thousands at the time. Like Jana, Ellen Fanning was a star reporter at Channel 9 who also hosted their current affairs program Sunday and reported on a current affair. A 1999 Fairfax media profile on Ellen revealed how the Nine News and Current Affairs boss Peter Meekin had criticized her looks while she was working at the network. Describing her as not being drop-dead gorgeous, which is a minus to some people in TV, Ellen hit back, sending her boss a paper bag with eye holes cut out. On Monday, Lisa Wilkinson sensationally walked away from today, with multiple reports suggesting it was because Nine refused to pay her the same as her male co-host, Carl Stefanovic. The Daily Telegraph reports that Lisa was only being paid $1.2 million, while Carl was making between $2 to $3 million. Channel 9 said in a statement 9 today confirmed we have been unable to meet the expectations of Lisa Wilkinson and her manager on a contract renewal for a further period.